All right, again, uh, not expecting any storms today, but we do have that storm threat rolling in right on cue. It's March, and here comes our first uh, kind of, I don't want to say high severe weather day, but our highest severe weather chance that we've had in a month. Really, you got to go back to the end of uh, summer and into fall. That's that mini little severe season uh, threat that we, uh, we talk about all the time. But uh, yeah, this certainly... As you would expect, things quiet down overall. We start focusing on winter weather events during the winter time, and then it can take a little time. Sometimes you get into March and April, it can start out a little quiet, and other times you kind of get right into those months, and boom, those severe weather threats just kind of pop up out of nowhere, seemingly. That's what's happening with tomorrow. We've had our eyes on it the last couple of days, looking like rain, thunderstorm chances increasing for Thursday. So we're going to be tracking that for you. The entire weather team's got its eyes on it. Upper 50s, low 60s, northwest Arkansas, 50s to 60s for most of the River Valley. A few low 50s and upper 40s in our coolest spots, Logan, Johnson, Pope counties. Easily getting back into those 70s. Should be a few degrees warmer than yesterday. Yesterday, Northwest Arkansas, mostly lower to a few mid 70s. Today, we should see more mid to even a few upper 70s. Another day with gusty south winds across five country, 20 to 30 miles per hour. We'll be deeper into those 70s across the River Valley, looking for highs to top out in the mid to upper 70s today, up to around 79 degrees in our warmer spots. Again, uh, moisture increases overnight. Can't roll out maybe a stray sprinkle as we go overnight into your Thursday morning. We'll go 10% chance. Let's jump to Thursday afternoon. We're looking at that window right now. We're kind of honing in on 1, 2, 3 o'clock. Eastern Oklahoma, a few isolated thunderstorms trying to develop. Again, we're going to change. This, this timing is going to change over the next 24 hours. That's our job, right? We focus in on that, and we, we start to tell you who has the best chances and when. We're going to do that over the next 24 to 36 hours. But I can tell you right now, we do have energy coming through tomorrow. We'll have instability. We're going to have moisture. We're going to have some scattered showers and thunderstorms Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. Again, 1, 2, 3 o'clock, seeing some thunderstorms develop in eastern Oklahoma. And then as we go through mid, late afternoon and evening, we're going to see those scattered showers and thunderstorms coming into our area. You see the brighter colors showing up, meaning, again, we're going to have those stronger updrafts. Uh, certainly going to be possible. The, the last couple of times we've had a chance of a thunderstorm or two, uh, it's been a low end threat where I say maybe a strong storm or two. I do think with this uh, setup for Thursday afternoon and evening, we will have a few strong storms in our area. Damaging hail will be the primary threat with some damaging wind gusts and an isolated tornado being the secondary threat. Again, the storms will continue to shift east. We'll get some uh, redevelopment of some scattered thunderstorms along the front late evening overnight. The good news is those should be weakening as instability comes down as we go into the overnight hours. So that's good news. Again, I know I threw a lot of uh, things at you, but again, Scattered showers and thunderstorm chances look good around eastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. We're going to continue to work on that window, that timing. Uh, but uh, again, I do think not everyone's going to see a severe storm tomorrow. It's not one of those kind of days, but it is one of those days where I do anticipate we will have at least a few severe warnings in the area tomorrow afternoon and evening. Yeah, make sure.